core message is that for a patient to understand that it's not something that they should feel guilty about, it's something they should be informed about. Um, it's something that I think the physicians need to be informed about mm -hmm. because they're almost part of the mechanism of guilt because they're propagating the misconception. That's unfortunate because as physicians, we really shouldn't be judgmental. We should really be more in tune to how can we get our patients from A, the condition where they're not healthy, to B, where they are healthy. It's not about criticism. It's about information, support, and, you know, trying to facilitate the process. And I, as a fellow, been involved in uh, looking at lymphatico venous bypass and things of that nature for lymphedema and as that process went on and we had more patients with lymphedema we would start to see patients with lipedema who were either basically misdiagnosed and sent to us um, that was the most common reason um, and then as we started going down this path of learning more about lipedema having patients who thought they had lipedema coming to see us and asking what we could do it's also a very unique process to see the patients driving a lot of this. There's such a tight community uh, amongst patients who realize that they have lipedema. And I think it's because they realize how isolating and how frustrating it is. And once you know, you want to let anybody else that's going through it know because you, there's such a relief. That's something that resonates with caregivers because you, you see something that suddenly is empowering to patients and you see an opportunity to make things better. You don't have to try and you know, convince a patient to do a study. They want to know more. They've been dealing with this their whole lives and nobody knew anything about it. They're like, I can do whatever I can do, let me know because I want to know how to make this better. And my daughter, I don't want to have to go through it you know, the way I had to go through it. And if there's something that's gonna be better 10 years from now for her, that, you know, that'd be great. The real message to the public and to other physicians is that this is not just a tiny little group of people spouting something. The more credible people that are working on this and acknowledging it and saying, listen, this is something that's not just obesity. This is not something you just tell people, go on a diet and go to the gym because that's the misperception. It's not just a small group, it's the scientific community. Anybody who's involved with it realizes it and the general medical community and the public need to realize it as well as the patients so that they're not struggling with all the issues that come along with misdiagnosis or misunderstanding about conditions. You know, this is a condition that needs everyone's help. You know, your understanding of lymphatics translates into your understanding of lymphedema and your understanding of the venous system and vascular and flow and pressure gradients also translates in and all the basic science, it all comes to bear. And every the more people with more diverse backgrounds come to bear on it, it's, it's like the analogy we said before, it's, it's like you have a lot of um, blind men you know, feeling the elephant and you're, you're trying to get a description and, and, and only when they all come together with all the perspectives do you really get a true sense of what you're dealing with and that's where we're sort of at right now. I think we're all kind of trying to bring our, our perspectives um, together collectively and to get a better sense of what we're dealing with.